students of class 9 student today we have a new topic in chapter digital documentation from unit 3 and we will talk about today section 3 and 4 section 3 it related the identity the elements of user interface and for format a document bold italics and underline the student as you know ki when you open the ms word and you interface with such a screen of a uh, ms word on which you can see all the elements uh, related to this application and uh, i think you should know i mean you know about uh, all the elements uh, because i think you have uh, done uh, many time in this application in your previous class so now as a given in the book also we will talk about these all component one by one here so let's have a video in a practical way because it uh, make the great effect on you you can understand well properly observe all the things all element uh, practically okay student so let's have a look of this video as a practically student as you can see here this is the screen of ms word and now you can see on the top of this screen that is a title bar this title bar shows you the active name of application um means so uh, which file which application you have opened and now this is here the quick access toolbar quick access toolbar lets you to open and uh, save your file and uh, undo and redo here we find it means we can undo reverse or forward our action so this way we find here this is a quick access toolbar and title bar the title bar as a shows the active name of application when we open now these are the command button that is a minimize and uh, minimize and this after restore down and maximize means and then after we find here close button the so, student as we find here after that the title bar we find as a ribbon here ribbon as a tab here file home insert page layout references mailings there are the many types of the here as a tab and now this is here white screen area this is called the working area that is a document area where we you can type and where where you can format your as a word related task here as a student we find here this is the here uh, help box help help button here by internet uh, if your computer is connected to internet then you can get the knowledge about the ms word or ms office here now this uh, after this we see here as a status bar a status bar it shows the current page of your document means as when you work it shows on which current page you are working and how many words you have typed so this is here the as a working area now we see here this is a as a as a here a launch means a dialog launch launcher dialog launcher it's a provide you such a dialogs when you press the font paragraph style then you find here the dialog box that's why it is called the dialog launcher so this we can see here there is a point given here and it is a as a tool means in inside the tool we find here inside the tab we find here a tool now next we he see here as a as here the ruler ruler as it is a vertical ruler means it adjust to the top and bottom of your page you can see when we drag down then it set the top bottom top portion of the page and this is here the horizontal ruler horizontal ruler by using this we can adjust the page margin of the left and right here it is a given that as a here ruler 
तो बाय दिस रूलर वी बाय एडजस्टिंग द इंडेंट वी कैन सेट हियर द फर्स्ट लाइन इंडेंट एंड हियर द लेफ्ट लाइन नाउ इट इज अज अ वर्टिकल स्क्रॉल बार द वर्टिकल एंड इट इज अ हॉरिजेंटल स्क्रॉल बार वी फाइंड टू स्क्रॉल बार इन द स्क्रीन ऑफ एम एस वर्ड हॉरिजेंटल एंड वर्टिकल द वर्टिकल एज इट इज वेन यू मूव योर पेज तो नाउ स्प्लिट ऑल्सो हियर स्प्लिट बाय वी कैन स्प्लिट द पेज means uh, if you want to break your page like in ms word as ms excel you can do this also in the ms word also and now we find here such a as a view as print layout and here read uh, read view and web layout view the as here we find here the such a print layout and full screen web layout these three view provide you on which you want to see your page now file here if you want to create a file if you want to open a new file so as a click on file menu and click on next option we select here blank document as you click the blank document here we find the new document so right like here we type here type something uh, on the working area and then now we save here file and here save as or save button you can press the save and select the location here where you want to save this file and write the file name and click on the save button so now our file will, would be saved here and again here you can see file and save as save as it is for the new file or rename the file as you can do if you are creating the new file so then you should select the save as and if you are doing the work on existing file you can select as a save button so this is here the difference between the save and save as button understand understood student here save and save as a different here now if you want to here open an existing file click on the file and then open here and select our area or drive or folder where we have kept earlier select that file as we have stored here now select and click on okay open button so this way we can open an existing files also here and this uh, next here we can uh, see here we can as a close click on the file menu and click on the close button so we can close the opened but opened file here and uh, if you want to exit from this application then file click on file menu and click on now exit button so it means you will be out from the this application entirely this thing you can do uh, these all things uh, at your home also now next so we learn here about the bold italic and underline student as uh, i have written some as a matter for applying the bold italic and underline style these are the such a style which we can apply for to uh, for the such a important uh, information or important uh, words in which we want to show as a important term of important matter of the paragraph so like as a, first of all we will select our uh, matter our words which we want to bold on which we want to apply here the bold select and then click on the bold option it is it will be reside it, it is here inside the as a home tab now click on the b tab and you can increase the also here the font size because it will show as a bold and it will be as a effective means sometime we want to show as a uh, important uh, matter so then we can here make the bold our text so first of all we will select then we can make here bold select and then click on the b button b button it is for the bold here so this way we can make our text as a bold now we want to italic so then click on the italic button i button it it will it will make here the italic something as a bend down here it is uh, looking here you can it like uh, here the italic make italic and underline select the then and then click on the u button so it will make your underline so where you want to show something important words important matter you can make bold italic and underline 
तो स्टूडेंट फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल यू विल सेलेक्ट देन यू विल अप्लाई विदाउट द सेलेक्टिंग इट विल वुड बी नॉट हैपन एनीथिंग तो इट मीन्स इट इज़ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट टू सेलेक्ट योर टेक्स्ट और योर मैटर बिफोर अप्लाइंग एनी ऑप्शन और एनी थिंग तो हियर वी कैन सेलेक्ट एंड देन वी कैन क्लिक ऑन द बोल्ड इट विल बी रिमूवड और डिसपियर्ड इट मीन्स इफ यू हैव सेलेक्टेड एंड इफ यू वॉन्ट टू रिमूव द इफेक्ट और स्टाइल तो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल सेलेक्ट and then click on the b button i button and u button again so it will be removed it will be disappeared that effect on your text so now as uh, one thing here more about ki if you are uh, writing if you are going to write uh, the text uh, as a bold or italic so you can as a first click then you can write okay means uh, it is not a uh, कंपलसरी की आफ्टर राइटिंग यू कैन अप्लाई नो इफ यू आर गोइंग टू राइट बोल्ड और इटैलिक और अंडरलाइन तो यू कैन क्लिक ऑन दिस बटन टू अप्लाई हियर एज अ बोल्ड इटैलिक एंड अंडर लाइन तो दिस वे वी कैन मेक हियर बोल्ड इटैलिक एंड अंडर लाइन दिस इज द रिलेटेड टू आवर स्टाइल ग्रुप हियर तो एज वी आर राइटिंग हियर तो स्टूडेंट सी हियर एज अ Okay, now we can use here the shortcut key. Shortcut key for as a control B for bold, control I for italic, and control U for underline. So we can make also by pressing here the button or by pressing the short by using the shortcut key from keyboard. Okay, so control B for bold, control I for italic, control U for under line the so as we can here write for before writing here first click on the b then write so automatically it will be bold and if you want to write in italic then as a click on the italic then it will write a, as a bold with italic and if you want to write with the underline so then click on the underline or you can underline and if you want to reverse your action then you can uh, as a selected here and uh, now click on bold click on i click on u automatically this effect will be disappeared from your text so if you want to remove uh, this effect from entire text so you have to select the all the text if you want to remove okay and if you want to remove by the next step as you are going to write here so you only you can click the bold italic and underline button then you will write automatically it will be normal font so this way student we can use the shortcut key and we can use here the button on the given here as a tab here now student i want to tell you something here about the font group because it is a very very important for our characters to format if you want to format if you want to give attractive look to your character or text we have to use this font group okay the student as you can see on the screen as a given here the font group in this font group we find here the many types of the tools related to the font here so now as we you can see first here the font size font size as a given here to change the size of your font means you can increase or decrease your font according to your convenience here now we find after that as a font font means it is a view, view of your font means text or character it is a pattern or style you can say as of the character you can change by here this is a drop down as it is given here if you click on this drop down automatically there will be a list of the font and you can select any font but before apply any font or uh, font size you have to select your text it means without the selection there will be no nothing would be apply so it means it is a very necessary to select the text before apply any options so now here we find next as a bold italic and underline now in my 
as uh, today I told you about this uh, by video bold italic and underline give how can we use this button bold italic and underline now we find here as a super subscript and superscript subscript student as you want to write as a formula of h2o okay so h2o how can you write as a first as you write in the computer h2o okay it will be as a normal but uh, we want to make as a 2 in the as a below of the H and 2. So first you will select the 2. Okay, student. You will select the 2 and press on this. Uh, press on this option. Press press on this tool. So as you click on this option, automatically your 2 will be as a subscript now. So it means it will look like as a H2O okay this will be look like as a if you use this uh, for as a subscript uh, subscript make your text uh, as a below in the normal text so now here the superscript superscript uh, in the mathematic we use here means uh, sometime we use the as uh, a write for the in the power in the exponent form so we use here the superscript like as you want to write as a square form square form means 7 square the so 7 square how will you write you will write in the computer like this 72 so then how can make you 7 square so for what will you do here you will select the 2 okay 2 you will select because you want to make as a superscript and now you will press on this button okay you will press on this button so automatically your text or character a number would be like this seven square would be like this okay using this super or I mean subscript here okay subscript and superscript the so superscript make your character or number as a above than the normal text your text and character make the as a below in the normal text so this way we can use here the subscript and superscript now next we find here as a change case change case means if you want to write in a small in a capital in a toggle in a uh, in any other case you can use the change case here the first what of uh, for that we will use here as a text the first of all you will select your text okay suppose we want to make as a in the in all text in a okay toggle or in a um, as a uh, small in a capital so what we will do here first we will select our text and then we will click here in this option okay and you may your this option will take will make your uh, text or character in a, a small or capital what do you choose from this button here and after that we you want to make the color so making the color of your font we will use this here font color font color making for the such a as a coloring of your text so we will click here the drop down you can see here the drop down when you click on this drop down you will find the list of the palette of the color you will choose any kind of color here any any color according to your desire and select and apply but before that apply the color you will select your text okay understand and highlight highlight the color highlight means uh, suppose in um, the paragraph you want to show something important terms like as in your book now you read uh, uh, question answer you read uh, uh, such a matter and you want to show something important term of that paragraph of that topic so you highlight by the highlighter you know you use as a this this like highlighter no? in your text so you can use this uh, highlighter for your text so as you highlight this like this underline it making but it will text appear on the color means color will be appear on the text here so this way we will use here such a as a highlighter text effect means suppose if you want to give the 3d effect of your text text here we will we can use here as a text effect we can use here the text effect by clicking on this like 3d 2d and other types of the effect you can use but before 
as a selection okay the student as uh, i told you these thing related to the font group i think you will use this uh, at your home uh, if you have a okay computer if you have a laptop then you can practice these all things what i am telling to you okay student uh, but before uh, saying to get goodbye uh, i think uh, you should uh, read all these thing thoroughly and watch the properly all the videos what i prepare for you but uh, important that is a uh, to read the chapters also okay on one more thing here i want to tell you ki uh, you have to okay uh, prepare the all the mcqs okay for the half yearly means what are given the mcqs understand mcq will come in your half yearly okay multiple choice question so what are given the mcq in your book that is a very important to read means in all chapters as you know chapters are coming in your half yearly so as i'm telling you you can note down you can uh, okay point out uh, these ch these chapters are coming as a yeah, as i know ki you got the syllabus uh, for the half yearly as you know ki enter pioneer skills uh, first uh, and in uh, green skills are coming introductions to it it's industry mastering type and digital documentation these are chapters uh, coming these chapters are coming in your half yearly so that's why these are some chapters very important to read but uh, more of these chapter you have to prepare the first all the mcqs okay student as you uh, can get the good marks as you know ki uh, if uh, you will read all this th thing properly you can do better way all the things okay student thank you for watching this video thank you